What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Will Motivation, and I'm about to give you guys an update on Project Huracan. Now, if you don't know what Project Huracan is, that is a house that I'm building from the ground up that was originally, when I started the project, I was it was an investment project that was going to pay for the Lamborghini Huracan that you see here in my garage. But I started the project over two years ago and well i already got my lamborghini huracan because my business was doing well in other areas and other investment properties um so now question is what has really taken so long on project huracan and since we're not using that project to, to pay for this lamborghini huracan now what do we do do we rename the project after a new channel car or do we um basically uh keep that project cashed out and then maximize the cash flow on it because um, i'm going to keep it in my portfolio i'm really happy with the house um, but let me go ahead and show you guys uh the status of project hurricane let's go check it out motivation that's right <laughs> So a lot of you guys know my channel because of the Lamborghinis. So I have a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan and I have a 2012 Lamborghini Gallardo that I just put an exhaust on. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. My daily driver is the Audi S3, but maybe potentially my favorite car in the collection is this Ford Mustang GT. Now, if you don't know why, let me show you guys. All right, so we're gonna go and head over to Project Huracan so you guys can see the latest and greatest activity over there. Um, and then I'll explain to you what we're gonna do next and how soon I expect to be finished with Project Huracan because once it's finished, I'm gonna do an open house and invite any of you guys that would like to see that finished product. Um, and you know, a lot of you guys are interested in how I'm able to afford the supercars what I do in investing in real estate. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing. Um, and if you wanna come, like I said, if you wanna come out and see it, we'll set a date and I'll have an open house and you guys can all come and check it out. I'll bring the Lamborghinis, I'll park them in the garage over there at Project Huracan. You guys can check them out, take pictures, all that good stuff. So let me just go over there and show you, all right? And then we'll talk about it once we get there. All right, let me show you guys Project Huracan. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen this, but if this is your first time tuning into my channel, you can see Project Huracan. Um, so we built this house from the ground up. There used to be a house here that burned down. I bought the land for about 10 grand a long time ago with the plan to build this house and then sell it or rent it out. And I'm, I'm gonna rent it out and keep it because I, I really like it. <laughs> and who knows, I might actually use this house at some point myself. So. And it just makes sense to keep it for tax reasons. So I'm gonna show you guys the status. Um, so one thing you'll see right off the bat. So I've already had this landscaping done in other videos, but we finally painted the um, front porch railing and everything. So it was like a wood color, we painted it white. I still gotta paint all the trim around the garage. I gotta caulk and paint, you know, all the trim in the front. And I might get, see if we back up. I may get some shutters for the front downstairs windows, those front two upstairs windows, and those two windows on that side. So I may get some shutters. I gotta go measure the exterior sizes of the windows, and I'll probably get some black shutters. It'll make it look complete. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do that. So let me open up the house and show you the status of the inside. All right, so. Man, I gotta, I gotta get a door stop on this door. But Project Huracan, here it is. As you can see, it, it has been painted. Still gotta do some final touch up, but that's easy stuff. All of the um, electrical has been buttoned up. I hope, I hope all of this done. Um, so those are the outside lights. 
indoor lights right here. So I gotta change these bulbs out. Um, but the next phase, so we got it trimmed out, got the electrical put in, like ceiling fans, dining room, light. The next phase is flooring. So, as I suspected, <laughs> my assistant forgot to open up these pieces of flooring so that they can air out. And so, whenever you're gonna put in wood flooring, you gotta open up these boxes so that air can get inside and the wood can acclimate. But I wanna show you, I wanna show you guys what this wood is gonna look like. I'm excited about it because I've never done this color before. I wanna show it to you guys. One second. All right, so there's the wood. It looks a little browner on the camera screen, but it's kind of like a gray, a grayish brown. It's gonna look dope. Um, super excited about that. It also matches my ceiling fan grain up there. So I've never done flooring this particular color. Mostly I do dark wood flooring or like a cherry flooring to match cabinets, but I'm putting in dark color cabinets and this time I do not want to match the cabinets with the flooring. I want to actually have a little contrast. So we're going to put in this light brownish gray colored flooring. Um, let me show you guys. That's my little I gotta raise this lamp up, but that's my little dining room table. So this will be like dining room area. This will be the kitchen area. So the guys gotta put this stuff in the garage. My um, guy just came over here, which is what I came over here for. For they, He just moved the, um, the plumbing over to the, uh, the wall here. So he left the electrical so we can have plugs in the island. Um, but he moved the, the plumbing to the wall by this window so that we can have our sink over here. We'll have our, um, our um, dishwasher over here. Stove will be on this back wall. Refrigerator will be over there. Um, what else? I mean, we're, we're ready to go. So they didn't button up this electric, so I got to call one of my contractors to have them button up the electric. But. We painted everything, the door, all this trim is painted. What's that? Door switch. Yeah, they still didn't finish this electric work. So, so anyway, um, I'm bringing the flooring guys in here this week to finish the flooring. Um, after the flooring is done, then I'm gonna get the cabinets put in. Um, after the cabinets are done, um, I'll have to finish the final plumbing fixtures and like I'm gonna put towel down in the bottom the downstairs bathroom and I'm gonna, I'm gonna towel the floor and the shower so it's gonna be kind of like a it's gonna be kind of like a one it's gonna be real nice I'll show you guys let me show you guys real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about let's go downstairs I got lights now so I can turn these lights on boom got lights to go downstairs you guys probably haven't seen it since uh since I got it lit up down here, but this is the downstairs. Got can lights in the ceilings. I got the trim I gotta put in for that. I'm gonna do that myself, but I gotta trim that out. All oh, this got painted, they trim, they put trim around the electric box. I'm gonna cover that up with a picture. It's gotta be caulked up real good. Uh, this is a little storage area, but I think I even got a light switch in here. So that's dope. Happy about that, but I gotta see about this door. They're gonna put a door right here. But yeah, that's some little storage space. Um, well, let me show you what the bathroom is gonna be. The bathroom down here is gonna be all towel because there's if if it ever gets flooded down here, like the flooring ever ever gets flooded, I don't want to have any wood flooring down here. So, boom, all the floor, all the flooring in here is gonna be towel. All the all this the the walls in the shower are gonna be tapped. So this is gonna be I'm telling you it's gonna be a real nice house, real nice. I'll put a little edge around the shower space, um, and then we'll probably I might even just leave it open to be honest, because you don't have to worry. It's gonna be like a you don't have to worry about the floor getting wet because it's gonna be all towel. So it's gonna, I might just leave it, the whole thing open. If not, if it doesn't look right, then I'll put a glass around. Um, around the, the shower, that's super easy to do. 
I had to do it in my own house. But we'll have a vanity over here um, where you can wash up or whatever. We'll have this is the toilet hook up right there. It's a nice little downstairs bathroom. Uh, <clears throat> that's your utilities area. You guys probably don't want to see that, but you know, that's raw basement space with the heating and cooling set up. There's a bedroom down here. This is the nice thing about this. Let me turn the, there we go. Nice thing about this is that this is a legal bedroom. So what I mean by that is it has an egress window so that if there was a fire, somebody could get out in an emergency. And that's, that's what an egress is for. Man, these closets, dope. Got lights in the closet. This is, uh, man, you got like two, two closet spaces, man. This is crazy. People are going to love this house. Whoever moves in here. I'm going to try to get somebody that does not have a big family. Because I don't want to get tore up. I'm going to try to find somebody rich that can, that can rent this spot out that just wants to have a lot of space but only a couple, two, three people. That's what I'm going to look for uh, when I rent it out. Alright, so that's the basement. Let's go on upstairs. Alright, so if you haven't seen the upstairs of this house, I'll just show it to you real quick. I know a lot of people are wondering. So these are the stairs to go upstairs. Got my new light switch here. Boom. Man, this house is I'm really, I'm really happy with this house. So this is where we're gonna have I'll have black wrought iron spindles that'll go in this railing. So that's gonna look super nice. Your linen closet, boom, it's got its own light switch. Right there. Super happy with that. Bedroom, boom. Every bedroom has a ceiling fan. They're real big bedrooms. Every bedroom has a nice closet, with lighting in it. So all that. I had to get an electrician to hook up all this lighting. I'm gonna leave that light on. <clears throat> Bathroom, Jack and Jill. So, I'm gonna change that light fixture out. But, boom. Jack and Jill. Double vanity sink will be put in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to put towel um, all the way up this shower. You got a nice little sitting area for your toilet. It's a little dark back there. So I might change this out to, to a fan that has a light in it. Okay, somebody's back there trying to read. I'll turn this off. So yeah, in case somebody's back there trying to read, I might put a different um, fan in here that has a light on it. I'm gonna put towel up in the shower. Real nice, real nice shower. This is what's called a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's got two entries for the two bedrooms to share the bathroom, but it's a private bathroom, which is dope. Second bedroom. You got, you got lighting in your um, in the closet. This is what the bedroom looks like. It's got two windows. Dope, man. Real happy with this house. Let me turn on the light. Like I said, all the bedrooms have ceiling fans with lights. They should have put two switches here, but that's something I didn't catch before they, before they wired it. But yeah, secondary bedroom, turn off the lights. Laundry room. Let's hit the switch here in the laundry room. Boom. Got a nice laundry room here. This this is gonna have the wood flooring. You have your laundry units in here. Your your dryer, your washer. Dope. Master bedroom, huge. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, this video does justice to how big it is, but. You can probably put your bed on on this wall. Your bed will be on this wall, and your TV and stuff will be right there because it's got the hookup for cable. But this master um, closet is huge. This is probably going to sell the house, or not sell it, but you know, rent it out to somebody who's got money. But this this <clears throat> this closet is giant. This closet is giant. Plenty enough space for two people. It's almost the size of a little bedroom or an office. Very happy with that. Let me close these. Oh, something else I did is I put in, I got all the window sills put in. I got a caulk up around them 
but I got all these window seals put in and they're not wood so the water won't penetrate. I mean it's like high quality stuff like even in my house which is considered like a above standard build like builder house they don't even have I don't even have like the window seals in marble like that. These window seals are marble and waterproof. <clears throat> my house they're wood and if they get wet they can get destroyed. All right so master bathroom. Let me show you the entrance right here. Boom, walk into the master, hit the light switch. Got two light switches. This one turns on the vanity lights. So there'll be a his and hers vanity. It's like one on this side, your window, your tub in case you wanna get in the tub after a long day. Your shower in case you're just trying to wash up real quick. Toilet, little toilet area. Your um, second vanity for like the his and hers setup. And we even got, you know, extra lighting. Look at that. I'm real happy with this, man. I'm real, real happy with this. So that's, that's the master. That's the upstairs. This house is gonna be dope. In case you wanna see it in person. In case you wanna rent it out, whatever. Um, yeah, so this is what the little upstairs looks like. And I actually personally designed this house with the architect. I, I signed off on everything. I told him to change certain things and we tried to make a nice house. So I'm sure I'm, I'm, I have zero problems renting it or um, selling, <coughs> selling it. But I don't, like I said, I don't plan on selling it. I'm keeping this bad boy. This is the nicest house in my rental portfolio. So I'm keeping it. All right, so when do I plan on finishing Project Huracan? So like I said, um, this week and next week are critical. This week I'm putting in the flooring, as you can see right there. Next week, I wanna put in the cabinets and I wanna towel the bathrooms um, all the way up the walls. I wanna towel the bathrooms. So if I can get the, the toweling done for the bathrooms and the, um, the cabinets next week, then the following week, um, so basically three weeks from now, I can punch out everything. I can finish all the final stuff in that last week, which will be bathroom fixtures i mean very minimal stuff uh some paint touch up um <clears throat> electrical uh, hopefully they'll fix this electrical stuff but i'm gonna try to have them start buttoning that stuff up um in case you guys want to see the garage i do have a garage door opener coming in that's the only thing else i gotta and i'll probably paint the garage too I'll have my assistant do that oh he put the garage door opener in already Dang, that was fast. So that's done. That's another status update. I didn't even know. So let me see. Hopefully it's not locked. There we go. It's official. He's, he's probably going to be sending me a bill. He'll be sending me a bill here. Oh, I got the keypad. I got the pad over there too so I can set that. Got my remotes and stuff. Bingo. So there it is, folks. Project Huracan. I'm guessing, I'm hoping three weeks, so that will put us in just past the middle of October. So this house should be finishing up next month. If you guys want to learn how to invest in real estate, do deals like this, um, you guys can definitely take my online course. I'll be happy to have you as a student. I have opened up enrollment with a discount. I'll put a link in the description of this video, or you can go to willmotivation.com invest. And then uh, check out my online course, man. It's thorough. I'll show you guys my portfolio. I'll show you guys how I built a multi-million dollar real estate portfolio, how you can do the same, because that's what I use to pay for my toys. If I didn't have this real estate portfolio, I wouldn't be buying Lamborghinis and stuff like that, believe me. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, you know, once again, if you wanna learn, that's what I'm here for. All right, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching today's video. There's a lot more to come. Hit that like button for me and subscribe to my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking me about when is my online course going to be ready? Well, I have good news for you. My online course is completed. Um, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can click on that link and get a 40% discount off the course. That'll be for the first 50 students. So if you're ready to take the online course that I've basically laid out everything that I know 
about how to invest in real estate, click the link below or just go to www.willmotivation.com slash invest. And I thank you guys for taking the time out to watch today's video. Hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.